Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Good News Gaming, the show that highlights all the uplifting and good news stories from this week in games. Just like this adorable little kid, Weston, who not only watches along as his favourite YouTubers RKG try and beat Sekiro Shadows Die twice, but he also tries to play along because he's got his own little controller. It's so cute. In the news this week, science. No wait, don't go, please. It's actually a really cool thing that you can do from home that actually helps to benefit real world medical science research. Completing levels will help scientists spot computer errors in their sequences and the data will help map the human gut microbiome. So the TLDR is that you can help medical research by downloading the latest Borderlands 3 update and play the new arcade machine in Sanctuary 3. A super cool initiative that you can do from your couch. I was never not going to click on a video called Dark Souls but you play it with a Ring Fit Adventure mod and honestly, after watching this video, I am never going to complain about a Ring Fit workout ever again, even though they are really, actually surprisingly difficult. Super Louis 64 who has previously played Dark Souls games using other weird controllers like a DDR dance mat and the DK bongos, respect, modded his Ring Con to control Dark Souls 3. He has to jog on the spot to run, but I don't know, he did this to himself, but this seems cruel. He has to squat to heal. There you go. Okay, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> if you want to watch the whole video, I've linked it below. It is incredible, and it makes me feel really bad about myself as a Dark Souls player, because he's beating, like, Dancer of the Boreal Valley with a ring con, and I had to summon for that one. Last week, Chris Papp suggested listing all the free games that are available right now. And good news, everyone. Yes, I had to get one of those in there eventually. Good news, everyone. There are quite a lot of free games available right now. Uh, we have a full updated list on gamespot.com. I'll link it below. But for now, here are some of my choice cuts. Gone Home, beautiful. Uncharted 4, a banger. Monument Valley 2, a beautiful banger. Fable Anniversary, relive your youth and fart in public. Uh, and also, Google Stadia is free for everyone with a Gmail account, and you also get two free months of Google Stadia Pro, which means if you haven't played a game like Destiny 2, now is your chance to get in there and just get lost in it. You know you wanna. But we all know the best deal in gaming is Game Pass, and if you wanna get a whole month of it with hundreds of games available to play, it is only $1, which is frankly mad. But if we're talking about actually spending money on games, if you have a spare $5, Chad W. Smith from last week's YouTube comments suggested kind words, lo-fi chill beats to write to. It's a super unique game that's all about writing nice letters to real people. Jordan Romay did an amazing article on GameSpot. If you want to read more about it, I'll link it below. The tagline for the game says it all really. We're all in this together. Sometimes all you need are a few kind words. Thank you to Will Potter for sending this one my way. The Pokemon community has an amazing initiative going on right now, and if you're playing Sword and Shield, you should definitely hop in. Joe Merrick from Cerebi.com is leading the charge, encouraging people to hop into max raid battles at a specific time every Wednesday to try and bring people together in Sword and Shield. Joe reached out to 50 well-known Pokemon players who are gonna be live streaming all the battles that they're taking part in, and he's also encouraging people to take part in the optional challenges that he's setting. For example, this week, uh, the raid was Easter themed, so everyone was encouraged to use Pokemon that looked like rabbits or eggs. I suppose that's a thing in Pokemon too. Very cool little twist on just doing a normal raid. The first one was this week and it looks like it was a huge success. If you want to join in in the future or just follow along, there is a hashtag community raid hour. It's every Wednesday. Thanks to Alice and Lewis for the heads up on this one. Huge shout out to the folks at Tiltify for their Hope From Home fundraiser, which has raised, at the time of this recording, over $1.7 million for COVID relief. No doubt you'll have seen a bunch of your favorite YouTubers posting about it, but if you want to set up your own Hope From Home fundraiser, make sure to check out their website. Obviously it's linked below, but you can set up your own fundraiser uh, from now up until May 1st. All right, time for my favorite part of the show, daft things from the internet this week. Let's kick things off with someone pixelating Justin Bieber's house to make it look like it is from an old school strategy game. I thought this tweet was incredible enough on its own, but the follow up where they placed it within game, perfect. I've had a conversation with my friends where we have agreed this is the perfect tweet. I'm gonna admit something to you now. I love TikTok. I spend an unreasonable amount of time on TikTok. I actually curled my hair using a technique that I saw on TikTok. It's quite worrying. A lot of TikTok is not great, I'll admit that. But sometimes you find incredible gems, like this video of a guy playing Beat Saber, but the song is just a horse mashing its mouth on a keyboard. I've been 
having kind of like ups and downs this week, uh, but I have some great colleagues. Dave and Tamor sent me this video that honestly had me cry laughing at my desk. So thank you to you guys, and I thought I would share it with you all. It's incredible. Wayne Radio TV has a series called Half-Life VR, but the AI is self-aware, where he role plays as Gordon Freeman, but his buds voice the NPCs. I implore you to watch it. I think it is incredible and the most inventive Let's Play I have ever seen. Please watch it. Just make sure you got your passport. What's what's wrong, sir? Okay, so your passport? My passport? Why do I need a why do what do you mean a passport? You mean like a company ID? He doesn't have his passport. Yeah, he's telling me that you're not allowed in here. <laughs> I don't I don't have a passport. I have my I have my Black look, Mesa look ID. Upset. He's got look at his fists, they're bald. He has to beat you up so bad. <laughs> he's clutching. Alright, and let's do a quick roundup of more stuff from Animal Crossing, the game that continues to knock it out of the park when it comes to bringing people together. For example, people are coming together to share turnip prices, like Mel from Twitter. But now that it's been out for a few weeks, people are now starting to turn their attention to the incredible things they can make within the game. Twitter user Komepo remade Mother inside Animal Crossing, and the attention to detail is out of this world. Thank you to Reddit user Latrick for providing me with this mashup, which is... I just never knew I needed it, but it's so perfect. I'm playing Persona 5 Royal at the moment, and this mashup from Ultima Shadow X on Twitter was really just like a Venn diagram of things that I love. <laughs> that wraps it up for this week. If you have any more funny clips from video games, uh, memes, or just nice uplifting stories, Put them in the comments below or come find me on Twitter. I'm at Lucy James Games. If you'd like an invite to the GameSpot Discord channel, which is a really cool place to be, it's full of really nice people, very wholesome. Uh, probably easier to drop me a DM on Twitter. Um, it's more, yeah, I'll definitely see it then and I'll reply to you and get you added. Um, it's honestly my favorite place to be on the internet right now. Um, so if you want to join, let me know and I'll get you in there. We'll see you next week.